What's up guys? We're gonna get started on the Z project. I got everything laid out. I'm gonna show you the parts real quick and uh, then start doing stuff. First, like I said, we got a radiator. This is just a Speedway kind of a LS universal piece. I actually ordered it. It's a little big, but I think you I think we can make it work. At least I hope we can anyway. Uh, got the Siki filter oil filter relocation in here. It's kind of needed for the oil pan issue we got going on. Went to ISR for the mounts. So we got the mounts, the shifter relocation thing, which looks actually kind of a really sick piece. I like the thing. So it'd be kind of cool. I just ding my headlight. Uh, what else we got? Went to Siki again for their power steering line. We got some. Got a diff brace, which my car has really never had anything, so. Diff brace, and I think those right there are like the solid mounts. Got headers from ISR. Those things look awesome. Hopefully they'll fit and actually clear everything and not rub because it's kind of heavy. And we're getting coilovers from ISR as well. Those things look pretty cool. This will actually be like the first car I've had that's actually had proper suspension and actually trying to drift. So. Looking forward to hopefully actually work out and be a good setup. You got the pickup tube for the oil pan and the clutch line and adapter and everything. The front sump oil pan. But yeah, so pretty much pretty much have everything I need to get started. Um, the only thing that we have to do before I can start putting this thing together. Excuse you, Dinah. <laughs> is I'm taking the LS1 out of the RX7 and the T56 and everything is going in this. So we're already in this box. We have a drive shaft that's already for the T56 and everything. So everything should just go smooth and quick and bolt in. But we're not going to take the RX7 apart today. I think today we're just going to put the coil levers on, possibly the diff brace. I'm not sure. But yeah, just trying to get this thing to where I'll actually have a car that's somewhat decent to go drive because I've never had uh, a car that had coilovers angle or anything like that anything I've ever drifted has just been some clapped out garbage so it's gonna be nice to have something properly set up so it makes decent power yeah so give you a look at these coilovers and then we're gonna put these things on maybe mount some tires and get the things sitting down looking pretty Whew. it's cold <laughs> yeah so we got this junk in the air Got the wheels off of it. Um, start pulling out, just so everybody believes me, 100% stock suspension. And this thing has been to multiple drift events. I don't care, as long as it will actually slide, that's all I care about. But I'm trying to do a little better this year and actually have a, a decent car. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna start getting this thing tore apart. I have like a little, we're gonna like switch some parts around. Do I have another? turd thing in the yard I might show you guys I'm still unsure if I'm gonna keep it yet so I don't know yeah we'll see so this should just take like five minutes right bro should be yeah five I'll minutes get the right tools first yeah five minutes is what we're aiming at right tools and uh some leverage this was a nice car once upon a time once upon a time yeah well, we don't tell stories anymore. Do we? <laughs> uh oh, the door's locked. But we're gonna make something out of it, I promise. You said beat the car, right? Yeah, that's what the game plan. Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and take these seats and do that because I'm gonna put those seats out of the FD in this thing for now. Hey, that seat won't, probably won't look too bad in the Corvette, though. So, FD will need uh, some new seats. 
the water pouring out of the car is concerning though. I can't lie. Look, Mary, sometimes it's the carpet wet in this thing. <laughs> no. But alright, we're gonna get this knocked out real quick. It's actually nice to have someone that's willing to 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 do some work. <laughs> so it's just not like so it's just not like me all the time. <laughs> talking about look i was drifting on this look at that those things have been leaking forever look at that that thing is probably totally blown out and shot that's good oh yeah look at that it's not supposed to <laughs> look hey look active suspension that is <laughs> i don't think it's supposed to be like that trampoline or z can't tell the difference yeah. <laughs> Ooh, them things look nice. <laughs> Let's see what this thing looks like. So I'm gonna run these like bad offset for a Z wheels because they're cheap. Ooh. But yeah, it look good oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna leave the spacers on too? Yeah. We gonna, I heard we're gonna roll some fenders later too. Yeah, we're definitely gonna roll some fenders. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Or hammer fenders, whatever. Hey, roll. <laughs> so if you've ever seen any of my videos of me driving, you're like, dude, that guy sucks. I mean, I'm doing what I can with what I got, people. <laughs> Trying to do a little better this year. This is uh, sloppy mechanics for drifting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do a little better this year and actually have a car that, that functions and works correctly. So, give y'all like a little quick teaser of what's going back in the RX-7. Oh, that's all you'll get. <laughs> it's definitely not pretty, guys. I don't know if you can even see it. Hold up. Yeah, there you go. But like I said, this car isn't, it's never gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna have to sand that because the car's got, the whole car's gonna get painted. I'm gonna sand that and fix it when painting the car. Got a man over here going to hammer on the other side. So. If you guys got to see them on the car yet or not way nice i will get the lower arms eventually we'll, but i'm not rich so we gotta do it as we can as we can afford stuff what you yawning for dino huh? all right Got the fronts all done, got them knocked out. This thing is definitely too low. I'm gonna have to raise it up a little bit. Not too shabby. What the heck is that? What is that, Dino? It's more junk. Any guesses on what that is? Can you tell by the sound? Hurry up, anybody got a guess? Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh, look at that race car. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, no. Oh, geez. We should throw wheels on this thing and just slam it right around town. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just mobbing this thing for a while. Yeah. Like, just have it as low as possible. Sucks where I put the coolovers on the Z. Uh, this thing's got coolovers on it. Oh, yeah, okay. Screw we'll we just gotta, drop it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that then. <laughs> Let's just take everything out. Let's just take the. Uh, the bottom collar out and everything yeah i don't know if i'm gonna keep this turd or not but like it was too good to, do to pass up so yeah we got to get the wheels off the front that's for the z so wait you see this this luxury interior it's a, oh it's man actually reclinable and rocking chair so when yeah. you get 60 you have it it's all there yep perfect Jump. it's definitely pretty low <laughs> 
Yeah. But it doesn't look bad though. Just got stuff all over the yard, man. Jeez. Hood and bumper and side skirts. Oh, yeah, I hadn't even seen the Arc State over there. That junk. And this thing is sitting on the factory wheels and it's looking pretty goofy. Yeah, I don't know how entertaining this was, but I think I'm going to end it there because this thing's on flat tires. I don't want to mount tires on it because I only have like a couple sets of 18s and we have a drift event coming up. So I'm probably going to be sliding the Corvette. So I'm going to need those tires. So now I got to move this heavy thing. <laughs> I guess we could put like those donuts on there for now. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Appreciate the help, man. Yeah. And, uh, get caught with you guys later and uh start getting this thing running so we gotta get the engine out of the arc 7 get it dressed with the oil pan and all that good stuff get it in this car get it fired up which is probably not gonna take long as you would think so this thing is going to be uh probably next time you see the z the engine will be going in and they'll be running so running and driving like so i have every single piece i need um, yeah it's probably my, my last project for a while like just too overwhelming, just junk that, everywhere. Yeah, I'm being dead serious, just you junk everywhere. I need less stuff in my life to work on, that's for sure. You should probably turn around and look at your yard first. <laughs> yeah, I that. don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to. Yeah, as much as I'd like to keep the G35, I'm gonna try to post this thing up. I'm gonna throw these factory seats in it off out of my uh, 350Z and try to sell it to get the money to buy a really good angle kit and some seats to replace the ones that I'm taking out of the FD for this car. So, as much as I'd like to keep it, just have something I can kind of make like a little stance car or something stupid low. Um, <laughs> financially, something's got to go. I can't keep all these cars. <laughs> Especially if I want an angle kit that costs like $1,200. So, yeah. Four cars. Yeah. Yeah, four cars. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys. Like always, I greatly appreciate you following along, watching and all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.